New tensions with Iran as it threatens the U.S. with retaliation after the Senate's vote to extend sanctions. That bill awaits President Obama's signature. Iran's president has said that the sanctions violate the agreement and the regime has the right to respond to them. The U.S. Energy Secretary, who helped negotiate the nuclear deal, says the U.S. is abiding by it, pointing out surging oil production in Iran since the deal took effect. Well, right now, some growing questions on why the propaganda videos of a radical Islamic cleric are still up on YouTube. It's been more than five years since a U.S. drone strike in Yemen took out Anwar Awalaki, but his message is being felt beyond the grave. Investigators point to 11 incidents since 2009 that Awalaki may have inspired. YouTube says it's vigilant in tracking down terrorist videos and, quote, YouTube has clear policies prohibiting terrorist recruitment and content intending to incite violence, and we quickly remove videos violating these policies when flagged by our, our users. Let's talk about this with Judge Andrew Napolitano, our Fox News senior judicial analyst. And the reason why we're taking a look at this is because, right. you know, last week at this time, we had the Ohio State University attack. You had the one-year anniversary of the San Bernardino terrorist attack. You have the uh, alleged terrorist in New York planting bombs on the street in the Chelsea district here, also potentially a reference to Anwar Awalaki. So we were curious. We were Googling Anwar Awalaki, and there he is all over YouTube. There, there he is, just as if he were alive. But he is almost from the grave uh, a common thread as having inspired all these people who you just, uh, who you just talked about. So this, uh, the short answer is his videos are still out there because, like flag burning, they are protected speech. Even though they are hateful, even though they advocate violence, even though they are profoundly un-American, they are protected speech. Protected from the government. No one can be prosecuted for playing them or listening to them. But not protected from YouTube, which is not the government. So the First Amendment says the government shall not interfere with huh. free speech, but YouTube could take them down in a flash just because it doesn't want this stuff being propagated on its platform. Fascinating. Do you think they should? Well, that's a, they should make a business judgment. I mean, they exist in order to earn a return on the investment of their shareholders. So if they think the shareholders want a free and open platform where any political idea can be aired, no matter how horrible, hateful, or harmful it may be, they should keep it on there. But if they want to cleanse the airwaves of this horror and terror-producing stuff, they can take it down with impunity. So they can make the business decision, this is in the public good, according to our own opinion, and yes. we're going to do it. Yes, and, and the government can't stop them and nobody can sue them because they have the absolute right to do it. But That's you know what will happen. Of course. It'll be like whack-a-mole. They'll take this down and two others will but that is a, But that's not an argument not to just go ahead and whack one. Precisely. Precisely. Okay, the videos on Islamic theology with no calls for violence do not violate our content policies. That's what YouTube says. This, what these videos are, some of them are, seem simple, but the argument is they're gateway drugs you're right, to, you're right. to more um, serious videos. And, and Alaki himself was a very complex character. He was invited by Secretary of Defense Rumsfeld to speak to senior military officers at the Pentagon in the days immediately following 9-11. He was executed by President Obama using a drone, never been charged with a crime, never been indicted, never been prosecuted, never been convicted, never even asked to come back here. He was killed when he was sitting at a, a, a cafe uh, in Yemen. So some of his stuff is very violent. Others is, other of his stuff is very theological. But you, you, like you say, Jenna, you have to read, or in this case, listen between the lines. But you know, it's interesting. I'm thinking about the, um, the letters that have been released in court from the bin Laden compound. And in some of those letters written by al-Qaeda operatives, they talk about using Western policies to prop yes. themselves up. And so what you're basically saying is a Western company, in many ways, based on their own business decisions, is allowing a certain part of speech that could be anti-Western. Yes, you're right, you're right. Uh, and again, it's, it's the company's decision. The First Amendment keeps the government out of the business. Okay, but let me just ask you one final listen question listen about the government. You, you, it was reading some of your work that American flag burning is not allowed when there's a problem, when it poses a threat to public safety. Is that correct? Generally, yes. 
generally, yes. The reason the flag burning statutes were found invalid by the Supreme Court is because they only prohibited burning flags. If they also prohibited burning leaves or burning trash, if it was a public safety argument well, that I, prohibited all fires, then it probably, the, the, the challenge to the statute probably would have failed. I was just wondering if the same public safety standard could be put to some of these videos by the government. Probably not. Probably not. The best thing the government can do is for the new head of the executive branch of the government, who can be very persuasive on the phone, mm -hmm. to call up YouTube and say, I got to cut a deal with you. I'm not suggesting he should suppress his speech, but he might want to point out to YouTube that the First Amendment does not restrain them the way it restrains you know, him. The, the first of the year is always a good time to declutter. <laughs> there you so go. perhaps YouTube could go do a little tidying up and see, you know, if that's perhaps potentially helpful. Judge, thank you. Fascinating topic. We pleasure, appreciate pleasure it. to be with you, Jenna. John?